Okay, why does this exist? For a little context, I started this review show with the Onimusha games, which I followed through every year following to their conclusion when I reviewed the much maligned and disliked Dawn of Dreams in 2014, before getting brilliant in an open world Square Enix on the second of Lightning Returns, and explaining yet again why the Fabulous Nova Stiles games were awful. And two years ago, I thought it was done with the series bar the off chance that Capcom made a new entry. I was planning to finally replace it with another long runner Capcom game I'm a fan of like Devil May Cry. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! light, light. Or Bayonetta. Or hell, the Mega Man Battle Network games, since I really like those, and no one that talks about Mega Man in reviews ever seems to even acknowledge them. Also because it was their 15th anniversary this year, and I completely forgot about it. I'd show my cartridges in this bit, but, you know, it's kind of hard to hold them like this and all that. And moving on! And then as I was doing research for the re-review of Wanimusha Warlords as part of my promised Patreon goals in March, I came across this movie, which was licensed by Media Blasters and imported a decade ago, though they didn't even bother to dub it. Okay, that's untrue. I found it on Netflix this last winter out of literal nowhere, and then learned it had been licensed by Media Blasters when I did that research. But I legitimately did not know it existed. Anything Media Blasters licenses always seems to blindside me, as they make absolutely no advertisement of its existence nor distribution. What, I got a copy of Counter the Next from one of their booths at a convention in 2011, and yet everyone seems to tell me they never imported it at all. I'd show you the disc case, but I kind of destroyed my copy not long after watching it originally. It's probably with good reason why it's unknown. Shane Onimusha the movie, instead of focusing on an original story or that of the trilogy, is based off of Dawn of Dreams. In fact, it's a movie that is made completely out of cutscenes from Dawn of Dreams' story! Oh god... You know, GU Trilogy is a relatively unknown video game movie, despite being one of the best ones frickin' made, that reenacts a number of scenes from the games. But it ends up doing original stuff in it, scenes that weren't in the games or were showcased wrongly in other parts of the storyline, before branching off into its own iteration that is just as valid and character reflective and they redid everything from scratch so as to convey a coherent presentation. But the problem with a lot of games that tell most of their story through cutscenes is it's not exactly the most coherent way to tell your story. Dot .hack could do it, sure, but you miss character depth provided by the greater framing device for the storytelling. I've seen movie compilations of a few Final Fantasy games, and the 13th somehow become even less coherent doing that, somehow. Huh. Well, the reason for that is they are supposed to be interactive media, which is meant to invest you in the story and setting by what you do in it. Find things in the game's environment which expands your perspective of it. It's why so many things that try to adapt video games into movies or television form do not do well, as it's compression and cutting out elements of the experience for the runtime and limiting the scope of the narrative. And then there's this, just reiterating the cutscenes ad nauseum. Though considering my dislike of Dawn of Dreams simply from how awful the gameplay is, maybe I could end up enjoying the story with how they decided to do it here? Well, no. Because the movie is just the video game's cutscenes, and not only just the cutscenes just as they were in the game, even to the point they don't even bother to fix the animation errors from those scenes, such as Jubei Chan's leg clipping through a rooftop, but a lot of them are jaggedly cut together, with only the barest of effort put into adding new scenes. I think at most one or two, and they were addendums to action scenes, with the rest being tied together with the narrative musings of Okane Jubei Yagyu. And it's quite terrible, as narrations as a story device should be used to inform the audience of the setting, or something they would not be aware of, that can't be told through the actual narrative. You know what the kind of narration we get here is? You can't! <laughs> That's right! Useless narration! It's almost as bad as adding in dialogue of people stating things we already know or can see happening just for the sake of filling an event with people talking, which then removes any dramatic impact or investment we could have had. 
Hell, as a contrast to showcased how it should be handled, the anime series Do Ra Ra Ra, which I HIGHLY recommend by the way, it is an excellent series, uses narration excellently in their medium, especially as the narrator is not the same person every time, but a rotation of different main characters framing the story with it, so they can muse on the events and give opinions on the actions presented from their own unique perspectives. It adds to the story to do so, as it gives insight into their characters and how the Legion of Leeds all relate to each other. Here, it's just telling you what happens because the filmmakers either didn't have the runtime in the movie for that specific cutscene, or its events happen in gameplay segments that hold even lower resolution than the cutscenes already did. I'm not even kidding when I say a Let's Play on YouTube of the game is better than this movie, and not only showcasing the events of the story, but creating a coherent narrative for it. And that's just people putting up gameplay footage. Less effort than had to go into making this movie. As they had edited the footage down, right up the narration, rehired Jupe Chan's voice actor to perform the lines, and then properly sync them to the given events. That isn't to say Jupe Chan's narration is totally worthless, as much of it is from her perspective, so it informs her viewpoint. That this is only here because the producers decided to cheap out on actually bothering to take the story from Dawn of Dreams and repackage it into a movie properly, it doesn't compensate for what is being left out. And worse, it's often placed over the dialogue in a given scene at the exact worst time, so it drowns out the actual story plot points. And mind you, I think Dawn of Dreams is terrible! It's a sequel to a series people wanted more of, but rejected because of the awful gameplay and less than articulate story. So this further calls that coherence into an even bigger mess that sold even worse. I'm pretty sure this is the reason why we never got another Onimusha game. Besides, well, obviously none of the people that made the original Onimusha trilogy is so great being involved in its production, even tangentially. And I really don't have much to say past that, as going any further into the movie's story is pretty much just reiterating my original review of the game two years ago. And I really don't feel the need to do that here. Because there's no divergence on events like with GU Trilogy, where iteration will facilitate addressing that divergence. And it's not a proper medium transfer like the Phoenix Wright or Fate's Day Night Unlimited Blade Works films. Or hell, the Ratchet and Clank movie that premiered this last April. I should also say that, well... The movie is also pretty badly translated. It's legible, but not exactly good phrasing of statements, nor parsing of the dialogue. Both being all over the place, and not in a way that leads to an ease of reading such. And the time sync is just plain terrible, often being a good few seconds after a statement or before it begins. In other words, it's about par for Media Blaster subtitles. So anyway around it, even if you happen to like Dawn of Dreams, this is a movie you should skip. And if you're surprised, I actually got a review done in like 10 minutes for once. Well, I kind of need the extra time. For next week, we shall be beginning coverage of something that I have been putting off for a long, long time. Are you done yet? Oh shit. 
I see we're taking the hard way. Yeah, well, you almost killed me last time. I'm gonna try something different now. What? Finally, I can be done with this force. <laughs>